This is a sponsored video. I need to, oh. This is a sponsored video. <laughs> oh. See, it's like I'm doing the Lewis thing. Yeah. The main channel. But. Draco. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Hello and welcome. We're having a blast. That's right. You've joined us at the Yucks cast. <laughs> nice, I like Pretty that. bad, pretty bad. If hidden games are what you seek, the task ahead is not so bleak. When you find what lies within the fabled cave of the Game Goblin. <laughs> but that's just the Game Goblin's thing. You know, Rhyming couplets. I stole that from Warwick Davis. Boom. Who was in the Leprechaun, the Leprechaun 2, <gasps> the Leprechaun 3. Oh, oh my God, is that my spooky shadow? The Game Goblin lives in the cave. Uh oh. Because you're starting fresh, because you, you've reset the world by blowing it up. Yeah. Uh, so. Just um, put some points in in some idle dude, and then we can read what the fucking thing says. You're gonna get. Oh, Don't worry. That was fucking close. That was so close. So clutch. Oh look, there I am. Look. I'm coming uh, out. Oh. oh. Every time a monster's killed, he gets closer to leaving the cave. When the hundred monsters are killed. He leaves the cave for five seconds, disabling the deep oh. of all... So everyone's damage just stops for five seconds when I pop out. Oh. Oh, yeah, look, look, the shadow. He's coming out of the shadows. <laughs> oh. Wait, we need to um, set our auto progress Oh, on. yeah. Oh, off he goes. Just left the cave. <laughs> oh, back in the cave. <laughs> he approached the cave. From the other side. It's just an archway. And my like uh, debuff thing is I just disable everyone's damage for five seconds. Yeah, you come out and you tell some of your funny jokes and everyone has to stop and laugh at them. It's like in the office. Hmm. It's like it reminds me of the the Oh. Like the George Lucas behind the scenes things when he says something and everyone laughs. Oh god. And uh, It's not like that in the Yogs cast. No. I don't know whether I'd like that or not. I mean, it'd be nice to get some sort of like positive reinforcement. But on the other hand, it would just be sort of like... Maybe like a, a boy who cried wolf kind of situation. Hmm. Like, I would stop knowing what, what funny was. What was actually funny. Yeah. And what was... Uh... And it'd be the same for everyone in the office who had to fake laugh at me. They would all be like, is Simon joking? It's like, oh, oh fuck, uh, oh, almost got hit by a guy on a bike on the way into work. <laughs> and I'm like shaking, and I'm like, I've had a near-death experience. Oh, God. And I'm like, oh, God, I need, can someone get me a glass of water or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my, oh, my, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, God, who's It'll the guy? It horrific. R R Ronnie Corbett. Ronnie Corbett. Did he have the um... the guy who died on stage? Frankie Howard died on stage. The Many guy, a the, night. The guy in the fez. Oh, Tommy Cooper. Tommy Cooper, didn't he? See, a lot of these old jobbing comedians, they do um, you know working man clubs and stuff. Literally, like every fucking night of their lives, they would be working. Oh shit! So the odds of them dying on stage, yeah, in quite a stressful situation, is pretty is pretty pretty high. high. Yeah, that, uh, I guess there's like a logic there. Um, do we have? But yeah, that's the problem. If you if you're a comedian, you literally die on stage. Because the awkward thing is, dying on stage means oh, also not being very know, it's funny. It's got two meanings. Yeah. That's heartbreaking. I don't I don't want to die on stage. But has anyone died it's all right. live you'll, on stream? You'll die in your sleep, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I spoke to the old. Gypsy woman. And she said, You die! And then she pointed at me, but I actually had like a, a framed photo of you and I held it up. And it's like, You absorb <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the prediction. <laughs> wow. Wait, so she was casting a spell, not just yeah. like. 
predicting. Bless her. Do you do you believe in like you know gypsy fortune telling? Not really. No. Why not? Explain. Elaborate. I mean, maybe if there was some sort of like you, you heard of the um, James Randi, <coughs> the Randi Foundation. <laughs> so they have. Okay, first of all, it's Randy with an I, so it's not rude. He was known as the Amazing Randy, and he was. This does. Is this the? This predated Penn and Teller. Was this him? He would he had show like how million, tricks were done. A million bucks. <clears throat> yeah. So he like debunking, um, you know, psychics and stuff. So and you know he, he had a show where he famously would debunk people, and he would just invite psychics on, and they'd think, <clears throat> "What's the worst that can happen?" You know, even if he thinks, you know, even if he shows that what I'm doing is complete bollocks, it's still a massive amount of publicity, and there's yeah. going to be a small percentage of people that will still believe it no matter what. Yeah. So loads of you know psychics and stuff would go on. And he would debunk them, and they'd go away, and they would still actually do quite well out of it. But his thing was that he had, like, he still has this standing one million dollars that's kept in escrow, so no one can touch it until someone actually proves, without a shadow of a doubt, in you know, in scientific sort of like yeah. setting, you know, in empirical way, that there is some form of like. Telepathy or, or psychic power. Yeah, yeah, mm. that, that makes sense. What would be your thing? So I quite like the dowsing thing. The dowsing rod. But we, what was it that we saw that was, was it a game we were playing? Uh, <coughs> it must have been a game we were playing. Yeah, where they explain, was it in, um... The arts. It was in Dead Secret. Which hasn't, oh, yeah. which hasn't gone out yet. Okay. Where they talk about the dowsing rod. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And like, uh, the link to oh, the, like, the subconscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So dowsing is quite good. It's um, Thames Water got into trouble because they revealed that they actually used dowsing as a form of finding out water sources. Really? Yeah. Because it, it works. But whether it works because there's some sort of subconscious thing happening or whether it works just by pure chance. Yeah, holy a shit. A placebo effect of some fashion. Maybe it is. Because like the, the thing about the placebo effect is that even if you know that you're taking a placebo, it still has a pos positive effect. Yeah, yeah, like it still does a thing. So, <clears throat> no, the mind is a crazy, crazy thing. It's a terrible thing to waste. Bam, so look at our posse. Now we've got... Shin. Shin the Builder. Shin the Builder. Tips the... Jaffa. The Jaffa Cake. <laughs> We've got our Griffin Boy. <coughs> the Lion. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. Um, you know, the detective people. Man, we can upgrade everybody. Bam. Do you want to open our chest? Not our single chest. Oh, lovely. Oh, gold. Do you like gold? I love gold! So what do we need to do to unlock the game goblin? So we have to get to rank one, uh, we have to get to the 300th level. Level 300, okay. No and problem. then suddenly the game goblin will be ours forever. So if we have like the right setup of people in the right position, then, then they can just do all the work for us. So yeah, That's so although, although we can click, oh. The game goblin just came out. And reduced our damage to nothing for five seconds. Yeah. He's a real bastard, isn't he? That game goblin. Right, so yeah. All of our goons, they just do the work for us. Killing killing fools. They're big strong boys. Taking names. Here we go. We've got from our chests. Look at all this gold. Ooh. And so now, bam. Oh, bam. We've now got the panda. Oh, come on, Panda Boy. Bring him in, bring him in. Here we go. Panda's going to hang out at the back. He's just there. He just gives, like, passive stuff, the gold. Although, uh um, Level him up. Fucking put shitload of points in him. Well, we don't really have a lot of gold. Oh. To, uh, we, oh. need to, we need to kill more stuff. Oh, fucking Game Goblin is ruining everything. Game Goblin. What is he like? He's just there, causing trouble. Does he come out of his cave because he's like following the like the instructions that say you know every uh, every hour of gameplay you have to have 
a 10 minute break. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how it works. Stretch your legs. Go and stare at the sun. Do you ever do you ever follow those instructions? All the time. Like, cause they always... And in my, in my in my head, I'm thinking of when I was like playing Fallout 4 for like three hours last night, and my legs fell asleep. Oh god! And I couldn't move. Oh, so you were forced to play more. I had to. There was nothing else to do. It's <laughs> just there. <laughs> oh no, my oh, legs are asleep. Oh fuck! I guess I'll just play some more. Maybe the like 127th goon would be like, you know, maybe I shouldn't just run towards these guys. No. They killed all no, my friends. No, they are committed to their cause. Oh no. That so money. it's like we're we're like a US oh. Army checkpoint in Kabul. <laughs> And these guys are running towards us. Right, yes, yes, that's exactly what this is like. No, th this is, um, you know, we're at uh, the Black Friday sale in Walmart. Oh, yeah. And these are hungry shoppers after a good deal. Why are they hungry? Aren't they going to get, like, flat screen TVs? And, you know... So they're not literally hungry. A multi-pack of McCoys. I mean, you can't beat a multi-pack of McCoys. <laughs> Bam, well... We're going AFK for a little bit. We got our crew, our big strong boys all together. We need to replace the clicky dude with someone else. Ooh. And then we're good to go. You can buy the Thunder King. Oh my god, you can <gasps> buy... Bam! Skeletor! You get rid of this guy and suddenly... Bam! Oh now we've got Skeletor god. leading the charge. Oh my god, you're going to be the first one to take all the damage. Ooh, the Skeleton Reaper. Spawn a skeleton increases the DPS of all crusaders by 200% for 30 seconds when one of the skeletons is killed. Oh my god. We don't have that ability yet, but we'll do it. Oh man, Drew! Oh god, you, you oh. betrayed us. <laughs> Great Pow. stuff. Well, oh. we'll okay. see you after this quick message. We're back. Oh my god, and the giant seagull's killing us! Kill it first! Oh, we got him. So, our guys, they've all leveled up a little bit. The party's looking pretty tight. We're a few more hundred levels into this. Oh my god. And we've got some bucks to spend. And we're spending it all on Skeleton. Wait, what? Boom, the Skeleton Reaper. 20% chance that he spawns a skeleton. <gasps> Ooh. What are the other ones? What are the others? Is this my skelly friend? Bam. Skelly friends. Exploding skeletons. He can spawn exploding skeletons. We deal 50% of our DPS to nearby creatures. Okay. So it has a splash damage effect. Ooh. Necromancy. Uh, he gets to regen. Regen our party. That'll be good. After we got attacked by the big seagull. Oh, yeah. So what's the next ability? Radioactive decay. Let's the skeleton reaper spawn radioactive skeletons, which steal 50% of your DPS to... Skeletons all. spawning... You're a skeleton, you're spawning skeletons, and those skeletons are also spawning skeletons. Yeah. So, we're on the road to rescue the game goblin from his cave, and then he can join our party. Yeah, because that's what every party needs. It needs a game goblin. <coughs> Excuse it me. ain't no party till a game goblin party. Don't know game party. goblin party don't... Stop. Ooh. So who's are we, are we only up to Nate? Is there no one better than Nate? Nate's dragon. Says so you, Nate. Although, um, who's like the worst person in our group? Who's like not really pulling their weight? Because you've like Oh Let's god, the damage went here. down. Okay. It's about the same. No, like Nate's like of the big boy. Doesn't he and his uh, sister buff each other? Yeah. Like they're here next to each other. And the buddies. Double Dragon. Team Double Dragon? I love their latest video. It's like eight months ago. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not, not really a thing. Oh, these Game days. Goblins <gasps> come out. Just oh. as the boss is here. Oh, we got him. Pal, so if you guys want to try out the next, the next part of the Search for Simon, which includes the Game Goblin and Skeleton. everyone's favourite character, Skeleton. Popular, popular in the Game Goblin franchise. He was your favourite character in the Game Goblin, wasn't? It's wasn't Game he? Goblin. It's my favourite. What's your favourite character from the Game Goblin franchise? Mine's Skeleton. Oh, that's good. 
So yeah, you guys can get them on your party as well. Um, check it out. Get Crusaders of the Lost Idols. It's free. Available down below. Follow the link. Yeah. Bam. Well, until next time, Game Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs>